Hey, this is Eric with Web App Reviews, where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Today, we're going to take a look at a web extension called Cloud Save. Now, you can find this as usual in the Chrome Web Store. Just search for Cloud Save and then make sure you click on the Extensions option to find it. Or you can use the shortened URL tiny.cc slash cloud save and that'll bring you right here to this page. All right, what Cloud Save is, is a Chrome web extension that allows you to right click on links and files and then save that content directly to your Google Drive or Picasa web albums or many other cloud services. Let me show you how this works. So first of all, let's get the for example here. So let's say we are over here on the Apps User Group website um, at appsusergroup.org and we've got lots of good information here. Here's a uh, good uh, handout on Picasa web albums. As I come down here to the bottom, I see there's a help guide here. It's a PDF about Picasa web albums. If I click the link, it'll open up here in this new tab. And there it is, very nice. Okay, well, let's say I want to save that PDF and I wanna save it on my Google Drive uh, so I can get to it anywhere, anytime through the cloud. Well, the old fashioned method for this would be to come in here and right click on the PDF link and save that locally to my hard drive or have the PDF opened and kind of go down in the bottom right hand corner and click on the little um, save icon there and say again save it to my local hard drive then after that I'd come over to Google Drive and once I'm in Google Drive I would upload it so there'd be that extra step in there save it locally and then upload it or let's give you another example let's say I want to do some clip art about computers so I go to openclipart.org and I search for computer and I want to grab, let's say, this clip art of a, of a computer. So I come in here and I open up the PNG version. And I want to put that in my Picasa web albums because I've got this folder in there, this web album there of computer clip art. Well, in the past, I'd have to right click on it. And then I would want to save that image again locally to my hard drive. And then I'd have to come in here to Picasa Web Albums and upload that. So that's sort of the old fashioned way, so to speak, of doing that. Well, that's okay, but I mean, at the least, it can be kind of an annoyance. It's one extra step you have to go through, and then you know, you're gonna have to clean up your downloads folder at some point as you keep dumping more and more things in there. But other than just an annoyance, sometimes it's actually not possible. Let's say you're on a publicly shared computer and you don't have permission to save files locally to the hard drive. You might not even have the option to do so, either by permissions or maybe the device doesn't have local storage on it. So the more we live in the cloud, the more this actually could become a problem. So to save the day, we have Cloud Save. Let me show you how this works. Once you've got the Cloud Save extension installed, all you have to do is, again, right click on the thing you want to save. So I could click on the link to the PDF, and you'll see I'll get in the pop up there Cloud Save as an option. And off to the side of there, you can see I can save to Dropbox or Google Docs or to Amazon or Box.com. Well, I could save right there to my Google Docs. Or if I've already got the PDF open, I can just right click on the PDF. And again, Cloud Save pops up and I get the same options. So I'm going to say I want to save this to my Google Docs. I'm going to give that a click. And what it will do is I get a little pop up here at the bottom that'll say the file using Picasa Web Albums.pdf is being saved and uploaded to your Google Docs drive. Well, let's see if that worked. Let's open up my Google Drive and might have to do a re. Oh, there it is. It's already at the bottom. I thought, thought I might have to refresh it. And there it is. Using Picasa Web Albums.pdf has already been saved in there. So, very quick, very easy. I already have that directly to my Google Drive. How about what we were talking about with the clip art? Same sort of idea. I could come in here and right click on this clip art go to Cloud Save in the pop-up menu. And again, I could save it to Google Docs. That's perfectly fine. You can put images in your drive. 
but I like to use Picasa web albums for that. It's just a, it's an easy way for me to organize things, and it's very easy then to insert it later into a Google Slideshow or to a Google Doc or to a Google Site. So I'm going to say I want to save this to Picasa. So again, I click on that, and again in the bottom right-hand corner, it is saving that image to Picasa. Now what it does, it doesn't just dump it into Picasso Web Albums because there has to be a location for it. What it does is it creates, and I'll open up Picasso Web Albums here, it creates a um, album called Cloud Save. Now I'll refresh this so you'll see there's something actually in it, and there it is. It creates a, a, a web album called Cloud Save that if I open up, I will find that picture there as well as any other image that I save through Cloud Save. Now I probably don't want to leave it there so I can come in here go to actions and say I want to move it to another album and I could say I want to move it to my computer picks album and now it'll get nicely moved over there with the rest of those okay very easy to do so anytime that you need to or maybe simply just want to bypass the middle step of saving to a local hard drive Cloud, Cloud Save is a great option to be able to save your files and your images directly from the web right into your cloud storage services and just make it a little bit easier to live in the cloud. As always, thanks for watching the video and be sure to visit webappreviews.org where you can see all of our reviews as well as submit your favorite apps and extensions. Take care.